Welcome to the project demonstration of wireless power transmission system using hybrid uh, power sources. So here uh, mainly we are going to do the power transmission between the two coils using wireless technology to charge the electrical vehicle and the transmitter coil and the receiver coil was mounted and attached to this vehicle. So we can see that and the receiver power will be converted into the DC as only AC power will be transmitted between the two coils and the DC will be given as input to the battery pack to charge here. So this is a vehicle section. Coming to the transmitter section, there we are using the three different sources that's why it's called hybrid power generation and the storing of the power in battery along with power transmission. So here the mainly three power sources are one is a transformer that is a grid from this transformer we can charge a battery and next wind uh, that is a DC power source can be generated from this 12 volt 1 amp DC generator and uh, here is the 1000 rpm DC generator we are using whenever uh, uh, wind comes and the wind, uh, this wind turbine rotates the uh, rotation per minute is 1000 rotations per minute then the system will be generated 12 volts and that is the input to the battery pack through this charging circuit and the other is a non uh, uh, renewable source is we are using the solar panel and from there the generator voltage is input to the battery pack through this charging circuit totally we kept three charging circuits one is uh, for the transformer there we can see the T was written on that and there is W for the wind and there is solar for the S so after the output of this uh, three charging circuits directly input to the 12 volt 1.5 ampere battery pack we are using if you observe we can see the three 4 volt 1.5 uh, 1.5 ampere batteries are connected in series so we will get 12 volt 1.5 ampere dc output and here coming to the charging circuits three charging circuits are look like same and in that one each charging circuit consists of four diodes so there we can see the initially four diodes are connected so that uh, the input was given from the transformer will be converted into the DC pulsating DC and after that the pulsating DC will be given to the battery pack through this filter so which is used to provide as the filtered DC pure DC voltage but when we are providing the AC this charge circuit will convert AC to DC and uh, sorry AC to pulsating DC and pulsating DC to the pure DC voltage but coming to the wind so there the four diodes will act as a polarity character means if the wind rotates in uh, clockwise direction so it will be close showing the status of battery is charging to the generated output voltage in anti-clockwise rotation either from the clockwise rotation or anti-clockwise rotation the so called diodes will rectify that polarity character and remaining two diodes will act as a unidirectional current flow means whenever the battery gets fully charged then these diodes will block the current flow from the battery to the generator so for that purpose we are using the two diodes same on every charging circuit and coming to the solar the four diodes will act as the same polarity character if we connect this two pin in reverse bias reverse direction then these diodes will rectify that polarity characters okay so s for the s here and uh, wind we kept for the w okay so connect this over here yes we shift the project like this uh, dismantle one okay you can just place in between these two and we can demonstrate the project directly and coming to the transformer just on the power supply to this power cable there we can see the same light indication just like for the wind source also right as of now while demonstrating we can see the low light intensity from the solar panel as the low lighting on the solar panel we can see when the light is increased then automatically the solar panel uh, provide the maximum voltage so the system will get the maximum voltage so here we can see the charging light indication so when we are charging the system either from the transformer or a wind or solar panel so when we provide the continuous power from these three sources each source will charge a battery separately at four to five hours time so if three sources available with the maximum current and voltage then it will get fully charged in a duration of 1.5 hours maximum so after that the, uh, the, the charge circuits will block the current flow to the battery in order to protect the battery from overcharging okay so this is about the charging section and after that in order to provide the uh, wireless power transmission concept uh, execution we need to use this H bridge along with the microcontroller so this MOSFET bridge will convert the AC to DC as the pulses can be generated from the microcontroller to this MOSFET board 
so the uh, frequency of that uh, so called uh, pulses to the mosfet driver board is around 150 kilohertz of frequency will be provide to this the system will same convert the 150 kilohertz of uh, dc uh, btc input to the 150 kilohertz of ac signal and that is input to this copper coil so this will act as a transmitter then the emf will be generated around this coil so when we place the secondary coil then a so called uh, induced emf due to this emf the emf will be induced in the second coil then the signal will be transmitted to the charging circuits same here same for diodes and two diodes for the unidirectional purpose and uh, same the so called ac will be converted into the dc and that is input to the two volts battery pack and these three switches are used to driving the for vehicle right okay so in this manner the so called uh, dc dc and ac will be given as input to the battery pack through these three charging circuits and from there dc will be converted into the ac 150 kilohertz with help of bridge mosfets and a microcontroller and 150 kilohertz of ac will be received by the receiving coil when it is placed here then it will it induced and 150 kilohertz ac will be converted into the dc with help of this charging circuits and to the battery and we can utilize that for the ev vehicle purpose right so now let us see the demonstration directly right now same here whenever the system will get induced from the transmitter coil when the receiving coil get induced then we can see the light indication on the robot okay so here we can see backward forward right right just on the power supply then you can see the switch over here so this is the main on off switch okay below is the on above is the off right so now let us check the final execution steps right so we on this so after two lights blinking then so whenever this moves to that right we can see the light indication on the charging circuit so when it's going for backward then there is no uh, emf to be induced in the receiving coil right so in this manner the vv vehicle can be charged through the wireless technology the main application of this system is safe and secure uh, so that no need to get down from the vehicle to charge our vehicle uh, like uh, refueling and uh, the petrol and gas when we are refueling that we should get down from the vehicle and we should uh, do the process now no need of get down from the uh, vehicle directly we can charge this using the wireless technology right yeah right so main one more thing is uh, whenever the battery is not charged so then we can charge this battery pack also with the help of a transformer just disconnect this transmitter wire and connect this transmitter transformer okay transformer cable on this slots right on this slot now we can on the power supply to this there also we can charge is only secondary uh, source to the charge of this battery same time is going to be the same 4 to 5 hours it will get fully charged thank you